One amazing fact is that the Milky Way galaxy is actually on a collision course with the Andromeda galaxy, the Andromeda galaxy being about two and a half million light years away. Our galaxy and that galaxy will eventually collide and merge together. You know, as we've used the Hubble telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope to peer out and look at distant galaxies, we see galactic mergers happening all over the sky. For instance, these are two galaxies that have kind of merged into one. It doesn't look like a spiral, but it's two distinct galaxies, and you can see the dust lane in the center obscuring the view from all of the stars. Here's another example, an actual picture of two different galaxies merging and colliding together. But the word collision is a little bit weird. It implies things are smacking into each other. But actually, space is really big and contains a lot of, well, space. Here's yet another example taken by the James Webb Telescope of two different ga galaxies in the process of merging or colliding. Now, in our, in our neighborhood, most stars are about four to five light years apart. They're closer together when you get closer to the center of the galaxy, but four to five light years apart out here. Even when Andromeda merges with the Milky Way galaxy, the stars, on average, are not going to get any closer together than about 0.1 light years. So even though we're going to collide and gravitationally merge together, it'll be very, very rare for two stars to actually smack into each other. Now here's a composite image of what it might look like. This is not an actual picture. You can see a horizon here from Earth. This is the Milky Way, which you can see when you go into a dark sky and look up at the sky. And here's Andromeda heading our way, merging with the plane of our Milky Way galaxy. Now just for reference, Andromeda is about two and a half million light years away from the Earth. And that's really hard to put your brain around, but you can think of it as about 150 thousand solar system diameters between here and Andromeda and Andromeda is heading our way at about 110 kilometers per second. Now the collision itself will actually happen in about four and a half billion years from now and it'll actually take a whopping two billion years for it to finally finish and, and finish the collision and the gravitational interaction. Now during that time stars will be flung from their current orbits. The sun will actually still be around. The planets will all be around but the inner planets will be much much hotter than they are today and it'll actually probably trigger a lot of new star formation from all of the mergers and interactions so in our night sky in the future will look a lot different. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.